Hello students. Today we will start the mathematics paper second. In this paper, the first chapter is differentiation. Differentiation means the process to find the derivative of the given functions. Now, in this chapter, first point is to find the differentiation or find the derivative of composite functions. First, we see what is meant by composite function. Last year, we study the composite function. If a function f from a to b, a is called as the domain, b is called as the codomain. The function g from b to c, b is the domain and c is the codomain. Here, codomain of f is the domain of g. That means y is equal to f of u. And again, u is the function of g, therefore u is equal to g of x. That means y is equal to f of g of x. Function of function is called as the composite function. Similarly, we take y is equal to f of u, u is equal to g of v, v is equal to h of x, then y is equal to f of g of h of x, function of function of function, containing this process. For example, y is equal to sin of x, function of function, which is a composite function y is equal to cos of log of e raised to x, function of function of function. Now, such a type of functions are called as the composite function. We will start the theorem to differentiation of the composite function. Now, here the statement of theorem is, if y is equal to f of u is a differentiable function of u, and u is equal to g of x is a differentiable function of x such that the composite function y is equal to f of g of x is a differentiable function x then dy by dx is equal to dy by du into du by dx. Now proof of this theorem here y is equal to f of u and u is equal to g of x we assume that u is a not constant function. Let delta x is the small increment in the value of x. Then delta u and delta y are the corresponding increment in u and y respectively. Because u is depending on x. As x changes, u changes. And y is depending on u. u changes, y changes. If delta x is the small changes in x, then u and y is also changes. Therefore, we write this. That means as delta x, delta u and delta y are small changes in x, u, y respectively such that delta x is not is equal to 0, delta y is not is equal to 0, delta u is not is equal to 0. This small changes does not equal to 0. Now consider the identity delta y by delta x is equal to delta y by delta u into delta u by delta x. Here left hand side delta y by delta x. This is the ratio of small increment in terms of y and x. Right hand side delta y delta x both are same but delta u multiplying divide both numerator and denominator delta u. Delta u, delta u cancel then left hand and right hand side both are equal. Now, taking limit limit as delta x tends to 0 on both sides. Therefore, limit of delta y by delta x, delta x tends to 0 is equal to limit of delta y by delta u 
इंटू डेल्टा यू वाई डेल्टा एक्स डेल्टा एक्स चेंज टू जीरो और राइट द सेपरेट लिमिट ऑन राइट हैंड साइड लिमिट ऑफ डेल्टा वाई वाई डेल्टा यू डेल्टा एक्स चेंज टू जीरो इंटू लिमिट ऑफ डेल्टा यू डेल्टा एक्स टेंस टू जीरो और एज डेल्टा एक्स अप्रोच इज टू जीरो टेंस टू जीरो देन डेल्टा यू टेंस टू जीरो बिकॉज यू इज डिपेंडिंग ऑन एक्स देन नेक्स्ट स्टेप लिमिट ऑफ डेल्टा वाई वाई डेल्टा यू इंटू डेल्टा यू टेंस टू जीरो इन प्लेस ऑफ डेल्टा एक्स वेर आई डेल्टा यू इंटू लिमिट ऑफ डेल्टा यू डिवाइडेड बाई डेल्टा एक्स डेल्टा एक्स टेंस टू जीरो गिवन वाई इज वाई इज डिफरेंसेबल फंक्शन ऑफ यू एंड यू इज डिफरेंसेबल फंक्शन ऑफ एक्स टू राइट दिस इक्वेशन नंबर वन देन लिमिट ऑफ डेल्टा वाई वाई डेल्टा यू डेल्टा यू टेंस टू जीरो इज इक्वल टू डी वाई वाई डी यू एंड लिमिट ऑफ डेल्टा यू वाई डेल्टा एक्स डेल्टा एक्स टेंस टू जीरो इज इक्वल टू डी यू बाई डी एक्स और राइट दिस इक्वेशन सेकेंड Now left hand side limit of delta y limit of limit of delta y by delta x delta x tends to zero is equal to right hand side is dy by du into du by dx. From one and two, that is limit of delta y y delta x delta x tends to zero is exist and finite. Therefore. लिमिट ऑफ डेल्टा वाई बाय डेल्टा एक्स डेल्टा एक्स टेंस टू जीरो इज इक्वल टू डी वाई बाई डी एक्स सब्सिट्यूट दिज वैल्यूज इन लेफ्ट हैंड साइड देन डी वाई बाय डी एक्स इज इक्वल टू डी वाई बाय डी यू इंटू डी यू बाय डी एक्स Now in this way we prove the theorem. Now in another form, if y is equal to f of g of x, differentiate with respect to x. then dy by dx is equal to f dash of g of x is the function then i can take its derivative to g dash of x here which is the first node node first and second if y is function of u u is function of v v is function of x then we write dy by 
du is equal to dy by dx is equal to dy by du into du by dx du by dv into dv by dx now continuing this we take function of function so which is called as the chain rule now we take the one more example here the difference at y is equal to sin of log x with respect x now by using chain rule or by using composite function theorem we prove this let u is equal to log x therefore y is equal to sin of u y is the function of u therefore differentiate with respect to u dy by du is equal to derivative of sin u is cos u but the value of cos value of u is log x equation 1 and our assumption u is equal to log x u is the function of x differentiate with respect to x du by dx is equal to derivative of log x is 1 by x equation second by chain rule dy by dx is equal to dy by du into du by dx dy by dv is from equation 1 cos of log x into derivative of log x is 1 by x method second y is equal to sin of log x differentiate with respect to x dy by dx is equal to sin function is standard function derivative of sin is cos but the variable is also function cos of log x that is g of x take its derivative d dx of g of x that is log of x is equal to cos of log of x into derivative of log x is 1 by x these two answers are identical or equal therefore we apply practically this second method is easy to understanding or to easy solve the example now we take another example example second by using second method answer differentiate with respect to x dy by dx is equal to derivative of tan x is sec square x but in place of x here cos of sin x bracket complete and then d dx of bracket here cos of sin x is equal to sec square cos of sin x bracket complete derivative of cos x is minus sin x therefore minus sin of but here variable is also sin sin of sin x into d dx of that also function of function sin x is equal to sec square bracket cos of sin x bracket complete second bracket minus sin of sin x bracket complete and last derivative derivative of sin x is cos x then we write this minus sign first minus sec square bracket cos of 
साइन एक्स ब्रैकेट कंप्लीट इनटू साइन ऑफ साइन एक्स ब्रैकेट कंप्लीट इनटू कोस ऑफ एक्स इन दिस वे वी सॉल्व द सम डेरिवेटिव ऑफ कंपोजिट फंक्शन इन नेक्स्ट पीरियड वी सॉल्व सम कॉम्प्लिकेटेड एग्जांपल ओके थैंक्स